Good afternoon, class. Thank you. You're welcome to the class today. And today we are continuing our lesson on map ready. Um, a map has been provided for all of you. You all have a copy of this map, right? Now I would like you to bring it out. Place it on your desk. Show me your ruler, your pencil, and um, what else? That's what we need. You got your ruler, you got your pencil, and you have your map. That's good. We are good to go. Today we want to see calculating distances of places using a map. Maybe I want to travel from um, UK to Ukraine or somewhere. And I have a map showing me UK and Ukraine. And I want to know what's the distance from UK to Ukraine along a straight path. As a crew flies, that is what we are concentrating on today in this lesson. So, you're going to see how to do it. It's one of the simplest things you can do with a map. So, here we go. Already, I've outlined five simple steps to follow and achieve your answer. Very simple. Now, let us do it exactly the way I have written it. The question number one says, Calculate the distance from Dengue to Kasala as a crew flies. When we're talking about a crew, a crew normally flies along a straight line. So that means it's trying to, the person is saying, calculate the distance from Dengue to Kasala along a straight line. Is that okay? All right. Now, step number one says, obtain the scale of your map in ratio of 1 is 2. This is very, very important. I taught in the last class how to read off the scale of a map, right? So now we're going to apply it to get results. So what I have to do is to obtain the scale of my map. How do I do that? I believe you already know that, but let's do it again. I simply align my meter rule, bring out a meter rule. Yes, do as I do. You have zero here, right? Now align the zero to zero. And then you read off. Once you have succeeded in doing this simply read off so what do i have here i have that my four centimeter on the map is equivalent to what two kilometer in real ground do you have the same thing anybody having an, uh, something different okay we're on the same page so that means i have that two four centimeter rather on the map is equals to uh, two kilometer, but it says that I need this ratio to be in the form of one is two. So what do I do? I divide both sides by what? By four. Four here, one. Four here, give me zero point five. So that means one centimeter on the paper on paper that is on the map is equals to 0 0.5 kilometer on ground i will clear i will clear with this anybody confused good now we'll go to the next step very simple follow the steps and you will arrive at your answer if you're making a mistake go back to the steps step number two says locate both towns with a cardinal mark now I already taught you the cardinal point where I taught you about um, you have east, west, north, and south. Yes, that's, this is a cardinal mark, I mean. So, you locate both towns. What are the towns we are looking for? We are looking for Dengue and what? Kasala. Now, look at your map. Where is Dengue? Can somebody tell me? Yes, towards the east, towards the north, east, towards the northwest, rather. This is Dengue, so I make a map on Dengue. Remember from the key of the map, we have been shown that this is what a representative of town. Look at it. So this is Dengi. I make a mark here. And where is Kasala? Thank you. I make a mark there as well. That's Kasala. So that is done. Step number two achieved. We progress to step number three. Draw a straight line linking both towns. Very simple. Simply take my ruler. I place it here. And then place it here. I draw what a straight line. Very simple, very easy. Have you done that? 
Everybody, we're on the same page? Good, that's what I want to know. So, we're going, we're almost done. Step number four says, using your meter rule, measure the length of the line drawn in step four above. You all have your meter rule? Yes. Be sure that you're using the side that is written centimeter. You don't make use of the side written inches. You have to do a lot of conversion because already our scale are brought it to centimeter to be easier for you. All right. So I place my meter rule along this line, zero to zero point, and then to this other point. What do I have? What do you have? Yes, I have 25 centimeter. So length of line. So you see the length of line from Dengi to Kasala is equal to what? 25 centimeter. That is step number four. Very simple. Are we okay? Now the last and final step, and that's all for the day, says convert this length to distance using the scale of the map obtained. Very simple. Convert the length to distance using the scale of the map. What is the scale of my map? The scale of my map says that one centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer. Am I right? Uh, simply put, but scale of map. Now, what will 25 centimeter be? 25 centimeter will be equal to unknown. I just call it x. So, what do I do? I cross multiply. That means my x will be equal to 25 times 0 0.5, which is going to give me what? What's the answer? 12 point. 12 point what? 7. Five kilometer. That's my answer. So I simply say now I make a final statement. Therefore, the distance from Dengi to Kasala as a crow flies is about very important that word about is very important take note 12.75 kilometers very good did you get that anybody confused yeah i told you if you missed any of the steps just go back thank you very much here ends the teaching of today i don't know if you have any questions you are free to bring on your questions thank you